The Bible is quite clear. Everybody that's going to the sing of it, listen to what the Word of God says in the first chapter of Isaiah, or in Jeremiah 7, or in Amos 5. What God says to His people who do church, who go to the synagogue in, during the time of Judah. Here's what God said to those people. He said, I hate your worship. He said, though your prayers be many, I will not hear them. All right, he said, lay down your instruments. First, bring justice to the land and then come back and I will accept your offerings and sacrifices. Then I will hear your prayers. People, there are abortion clinics all across America and the pastors and Christians are not out there. They're also not trying to make abortion illegal. Most Christians have a good moral opinion and they are pro-life. But the pro-life movement regulates when, where, and how you can have an abortion. The pro-life movement is a secular, wicked movement. We must do what we did with slavery. We abolished it. People, Christians, rise up and make abortion illegal. Helping women is great, good stuff. Helping crisis pregnancy centers is great, good stuff. But it won't make abortion illegal. We need to make abortion illegal. God is, God is clear when He talks to His people. He says, oh man, you know what you should do. First, bring justice to the land. Lay down your instruments. God, in, a, in Amos 5, says He hates your worship. God was talking to His people. He was talking to Judah. During that time, child sacrifice was legal. And it went unopposed by God's people. And God told those people, you are making me your enemy. Lay down your instruments. First, bring justice to the land. The number one cause of death in America is child sacrifice. We should not be pro-life and regulate how, when, and where you can murder babies. We need to make it illegal. And woe to you gray-haired old men who over the last 45 years has ignored child sacrifice in the land and did nothing to help make it illegal. For you are supposed to stand at the gates and protect those who are being led to the slaughter and defend the innocent. But no, all these pastors like this wicked John MacArthur, who actually is a peddler of the Word of God. He is not of God. He earns his living off of the blood, off of the warming the pews with people, but does not do what God commands to bring justice to the land. God said, I do not want your friendship offerings. I do not want your sacrifices. I hate your worship. Lay down your instruments and bring justice to the land. For if you bring justice to the land, I will hear your prayers. The pro-life movement is a wicked movement for it regulates child sacrifice. We should no longer regulate child sacrifice, but make it illegal. The pro-life movement regulates when, where, and how you can murder babies. The pro-life movement is a secular, unbiblical movement. We need to abolish human abortion. We need to make it illegal. God says in Amos 5, that he hates your worship and God is talking to his people. The reason he hates your worship is because you live in a land that ignores child sacrifice. 
that a number one cause of death in America is child sacrifice. But you whitewashed tombs go to sing events and you think God is happy with you. Woe to you gray-haired old men who should have been standing at the gates for the last 45 years defending the innocent.